Hi everyone, so for today's tutorial I thought I'd do something slightly different. So if you've listened to any of the previous tutorials I've done on ageing, then you'll know that I predominantly focus on human ageing, but for today's tutorial I want to talk about lobsters. So if you've never heard about lobster immortality before, then this might seem quite random, but it's a topic that I think is pretty cool. So lobsters are known to live for an extremely long time. In fact, some lobsters have been found to be 120 to 140 years old. And the reason for this is that unlike humans who age due to a process of telomere erosion, which occurs after successive rounds of cell division and leads to cellular senescence, lobsters have extremely long telomeres. And this is because they have a seemingly endless supply of an enzyme called telomerase, which can actually elongate the telomeres at each cell division. So in humans, we produce telomerase when we're going through development, but as we get older, we lose the ability to produce telomerase, which is why our telomeres become shorter throughout our lifetime. So this lack of senescence led people to believe that lobsters were in fact biologically immortal and that they would only die if they were caught by fishermen. However, to assess whether this claim is actually true, we first need to properly understand what biological immortality actually means. So biological immortality does not necessarily mean that the animal is immortal. It could obviously still die if it's killed by predators or disease. But what it means is that it would not die due to aging. So a definition I found online describes biological immortality as a state in which the rate of mortality from senescence is either stable or decreasing. So this means that mortality is decoupled from the aging process. Now, as I said before, lobsters are not susceptible to senescence, and this is because they have extremely long telomeres. However, lobsters don't remain the same throughout their lifetime. So as they get older, lobsters grow, which means that they have to constantly shed their hard exoskeleton in order to get a bigger one. And this process is known as molting, and it's extremely demanding, so it requires a lot of energy. And each molting process requires more and more energy, so as the lobster ages, the energy required to molt increases. So around 10 to 15% of lobsters are actually known to die naturally each year from exhaustion during molting. And other lobsters may stop molting altogether because they simply don't have the energy to start the process. However, this leads to other problems. So their shells can actually get infected and they can become really weak, which makes them vulnerable to predators. So although lobsters don't undergo cellular senescence, meaning that their aging process is very different to humans, they can still die from complications that occur due to old age, meaning that they're not necessarily biologically immortal. Okay, thanks for listening. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel to get an update on future tutorials.